Welcome to Stay Home Eat Great. It's another week. It's another recipe. This week uh, we've got a lot to talk about. And those of you that have been following us, we're really excited. Uh, we finally have some merchandise in. We've been working on some merch, and I have some models that are going to model the T-shirts. Come on in, guys. Stand right over here. All right. So we have my daughter Marisa uh, wearing her. I'm going to have to pick her in. Let's do pick her up. Her Stay Home Eat Great shirt. I have Jacob over here. He's wearing his, his Stay Home Eat uh, Great shirt in green, in a forest green. And my son Caleb, uh, he has it in black. You asked for it and we listened. So now there's some merchandise on there for you. Uh, uh, if, if you can help us out, buy a t-shirt. Uh, show your support with your friends. Uh, the link to buy these t-shirts will be in the description below so feel free to click on there order your size they, they have all sizes small all the way to double triple x uh, we also have a v-neck option uh, so if you'd like a v-neck if that's your thing uh, go ahead feel free to choose uh, one of those so thank you so much uh, this week uh, for stay home eat great i know it's uh, today is national taco day as i understand last year uh, America ate five million tacos or something like that so uh, but our recipe isn't tacos because we did that last week this week we're doing green enchiladas and I know this is gonna be a hit in your house it's a hit in our house once again if you like what you're seeing subscribe and click the bell right on the bottom that way you're notified every week when you subscribe you let us know that you enjoy uh, this programming and that you support what we're doing and it lets us uh, be able to measure just how good we're doing uh, so stand by as we get to the recipes guys say say bye to everybody bye. Or, behold our ingredients uh, this week we're gonna start off with uh, tomatillo uh, two cloves of garlic one serrano pepper cilantro all right some good cilantro here uh, queso fresco we're gonna be using chicken broth uh, crema mexicana and uh, one red onion Salt and pepper, white corn tortillas, and to make it easy on all of us and make this recipe easy to do, we've deboned an original rotisserie chicken, and that'll make it easy for you once you make what you're gonna stuff the enchiladas with. Now, let's get cooking. All right, we're starting with our tomatillos, our green tomatoes, or fresadilla. As you see here, uh, what we need to do is we need to peel this uh, skin right off of these tomatillos. Sometimes they'll have it off at the store, so just feel free to dig in with your fingers and uh, pull all this up. It's a green tomato. So there you go, skin is off, and it's a little sticky here, so we're gonna, we're gonna rinse them in some warm water. Uh, I have 10, so you do 10. If you have too much sauce, then you can make some more enchiladas. So repeat this step with each one. It, it, it starts going rather quick once you have done a couple. Uh, but here's the, the stem here. Just once you're getting the skin off, just give, give the whole thing a little turn and it'll come right off, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and rinse all of these and uh, come back and cut them up into quarters. All right, so here I have these beautiful tomatillos. Can you see that? Ooh. Nice and green, don't they look like green apples? So what I'm gonna do is I've already washed them. I've got all the little sticky substance off of them from the skin, and I'm just gonna quarter them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them in quarters, uh, down this way, and down this way. I, I gotta try a piece. Uh, I know they're very tangy. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're good. Woo! They're tangy. So, as I cut them, Put them right inside my blender. So nothing too fancy. You cut them in quarters and put them right in your blender. Once you're done with this, uh, we're gonna get one serrano pepper. Pull the tail off. Uh, cut it right down, you know, in four pieces, whatever. Throw that in there as well in the blender. We're gonna cut. Uh, we're gonna smash two cloves of garlic. We're gonna put them in our blender as well. Uh, I've taught you this before. Give them a nice little hit. It's quite a bit easier. If you smash them, no big deal. They're about to get blended up anyway. So there's those two. And uh, next I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. All right, so I'm putting a uh, half cup 
roughly of uh, cilantro in there. It's just a little bunch that I put in there. Don't worry about chopping it up. Uh, this machine's gonna do the work for you. I'm gonna put a half cup of chicken stock right in here, just to help aid in, in blending. There you go. Let it, let it run for about a minute. Uh, once you see it nice and saucy and it's all pulled apart, you're ready. On this side over here, I have, I have a saucepan that I put uh, some oil into. And what I'm wanting to do uh, next, you want this to be hot already. Uh, you're wanting to cook this. Remember, we put everything raw in there. So uh, I put about uh, two tablespoons of oil in here, uh, just regular cooking oil. So you want this to cook. So let's bring this in here. There you go. We'll bring the whole thing in there. Uh, raise up the temp to, you know, once you start seeing a, a boil and just, you're gonna stir it in a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt and some pepper in there. Now, uh, while this is going, I'm gonna get started on my filling. I brought my sauce up the temp here. And so I'm just gonna let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes here on a medium, uh, medium low. And I'm gonna put about a uh, tablespoon and a half of oil in a hot pan here. Next, we're gonna bring in our rotisserie chicken. Remember that uh, life hack of just buying a rotisserie chicken. So let's bring all of our chicken in here. All right. While this is going, I wanna hear some uh, sizzling. That means we're, we're cooking. And uh, at the same time, I, I got some of my red onion and a, I just cut it up a little bit. We're gonna put some of this red onion in here. All right, so we're boiling here. I'm gonna put it on, bring it on low, just let it keep simmering. Uh, some people roast these beforehand, but this kind of saves a step. So here we are, our chicken is going, and uh, we're, just, we're just heating it up, uh, giving it some flavor. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in here as this is going. Salt here. Remember, this is this is gonna be our filling. This is what we're gonna be stuffing the tortillas with. We got a quarter cup chicken stock here. And so now we're just here cooking this, and uh, at the same time we are watching our sauce here. Sauce has been cooking for about 10 minutes. You wanna have a look? It's, it's got a little darker. It's kind of like an olive green like olive green in color, so uh, we're cooking that through. Just leave it on there. We want it to go about 10 or 15 minutes on low. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit here and I just wanna taste this for salt, um, as far as the flavor is concerned. You never wanna over salt. You can under salt and add later, but you never wanna over salt because then you're in a whole other problem there. Very good. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to this here. You salt to taste, okay? You might like it more tangy. So as this is going here, now I'm gonna add uh, about a half cup of chicken stock to this here. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some of our uh, crema and uh, that'll make it a, a little creamier. Thicken it up a little bit. You don't wanna use sour cream because Regular sour cream will curdle. You don't want it to curdle. Okay, so our sauce is still going. We're letting it thicken up a little bit. Meanwhile, I have a, uh, I have two paper towels here that I've soaked and wrung out. I have six corn tortillas here. Make sure they're not stuck together, okay? You wanna put them in here and you're gonna want to cover them up just like this. And I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag Put them in the plastic bag and I'm gonna go ahead and put these inside the microwave for just under a minute in order to cook these and make them nice and soft. All right, so our tortillas are ready. Go ahead and pull them out. Be sure you have a, a, a rag or something because they are going to be hot. So the, the very last step, we're gonna turn off the heat here. Our tomatillo sauce here has been going for about 15 minutes. It's thickened up nicely. I put in some chicken stock. Now we're gonna bring in some of our crema. It's 
gonna make it a little bit creamier, uh, cut down on that tang a little bit. Uh, here we go. All right, I got about three or four tablespoons in there. I'm bringing this in. All right, so on to plating. So we have our corn tortillas here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do three at a time. We're gonna bring our filling in, in each one here, just like this. Now, I, I don't wanna eat five or six enchiladas, so I'm gonna put enough filling in there to fill. <laughs> There's our filling. Now what we wanna do is you wanna roll them together, just like this. One. Two and three. We have three enchiladas here now. Now for our sauce. Uh, when you're doing the sauce, you want to cover the whole thing. Okay, so start from the tip here all the way down. Put. Uh, a little bit of cilantro on the top. Uh, a little bit of this red onion that we have, you know. Make it look nice. And then finally, our queso fresco. All over the top, just like this. So here are our green enchiladas. So there you have it, these green enchiladas. <laughs> You're gonna have to try them. I just had my kids try them. What do you think, are they good? Yeah, yes. Did you enjoy them? Are you ready yes. to eat? Yes. Everybody's ready to eat? All right. This is Stay Home, Eat Great. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, uh, to hit the bell, uh, to be notified every week as we're sending out recipes. Uh, feel free to order some of our merchandise. Uh, the link will be below in the description. Here are the t-shirts. Stay home, eat great, any size you want. We also have v-neck. We have them in black, red, and uh, hunter green. So thank you so much. On behalf of Steve Lopez, Marisa Lopez, and Jacob Lopez for Stay Home, Eat Great. God, God bless, bless you, you and be safe. safe.